So what are these building blocks, these nucleotides? A nucleotide is um, a molecule that has three subunits, and this is a pentose sugar. And to the pentose sugar are bonded a phosphate group and a base. And this base is a nitrogen-containing heterocyclic molecule. And there are um, five different bases. So let's look at the sugars first. These are pentoses, um, and so it's either going to be ribose or 2 prime deoxyribose. So here's ribose, and this should be somewhat familiar from our study of carbohydrates. This is just the monosaccharide. It's a beta form, meaning that this uh, hydroxy unit here on the first carbon is in the up position like birds flying over the water. And D tells us it's the right-handed uh, anomer, or uh, an antumer. Here we're numbering the carbons the same way we did before, but we put a prime on them. So we're going to have different things here that we're numbering. And so what they've chosen to do is they put, a, put prime numbers on the sugar rings. So the pentose ring atoms are designated with primed numbers. So one prime, two prime. And the difference between these two sugars is on the two prime carbon, this one has the hydroxy group and this one does not. So this one's missing the oxygen, so it's called deoxy. So this is two prime deoxyribose because it's missing an oxygen on the two prime carbon. The, those base rings on the, nit uh, in the, nit the nitrogen containing base rings are also numbered but those numbers are just plain old numbers without primes on them. So those are the sugars involved and these are the bases. So we've seen these two molecules before, purine and pyrimidine. These are both heterocyclic amines. So this one is a six-membered ring with two nitrogens in it and this is a two fused rings, a five-membered and a six-membered and each of them has two nitrogens in them. So purine and pyrimidine. And the bases are derivatives of these. So we have adenine, which is a derivative of purine. It's got this amine group up here. And guanine is also a derivative. Instead of the amine group here, it's got a carbonyl group. And over here, it's got an amine group. And these are abbreviated A and G. And then there's three derivatives of pyrimidine, thymine, cytosine, and uracil, and these are also abbreviated with the first letter of their name. I am not going to expect you to draw the structures of these. I'm not going to say, oh, draw the structure for cytosine. You do need to know the names of these, though and you should be able to spell them as well. So cytosine, abbreviated C. So these three in the purple triangle, adenine, guanine, and cytosine, are found in both RNA and DNA, and that's important to know as well. Thymine is only found in DNA, and uracil is only found in RNA. So there's three that they have in common, and one that's different. So from the base pair, from the bases, we can say, oh, that's DNA or that's <laughs> RNA because um, DNA only has thymine, it never has uracil. And the uracil and the thymine are very similar, aren't they? <coughs> the thymine has a methyl group here, and the uracil doesn't. It's really the only difference. And then the other part of the nucleotide was the phosphate. So here's phosphoric acid. This is a triprotic acid. It has three acidic hydrogens here. At cellular pH conditions, it loses two of those and becomes a hydrogen phosphate ion. 